Hi guys, today we are going to learn how to use Google Drawings to create a logo. First, you type Google Drawings. Then you click over here to open it. If you are not signed into a Google account, you will have to sign in. You can use the Google account of a parent or even create a new one. Okay, so this is one way of going into Google Drawings. If you did not have an account, someone can share with you a link and you can sign in without even having to use a Google account. You can open it directly and start working. First task, I'm going to click right here and name it Logo1. Second thing, I'm going to explore that it already saved the changes, which means it's on the cloud and it saves by itself. Third, I need to explore the toolbar right here. Here it's the pointer, how I can select. Here I can draw lines and I have a drop down menu in which I can choose the types. Here I have the shapes, I can choose from a list of different shapes. I can also use text boxes, insert images and over here add a comment if I need it. Now also you have the insert right here which has more options like diagram, word art and chart, even a table. So you have plenty of options to use. Let's say that I want to create a logo for a robot and it's a rabbit, so rabbit robot. In order to create a good logo, you need to search for PNG pictures. So you go on a new tab, first you click on images, second, you search for a rabbit, but in order to specify what you need, it's a rabbit clip art. That's what I want. And now I will find different options. To refine my research, I can use the tools right here and I can choose to the type and make it clip art. This will help me get a PNG. Those have a white background, all right? But when I click on it, if it still has white background, this is not a PNG, this is a JPG. So I need to choose the picture that will not have a white background, like this one. It turned out to have no background, which means this is a PNG. I'm going to choose it and I'm going to right click and copy the image. When I go back over here, I have two options, either I right click and paste or I can do Command V. This is my first one. If you notice, the, the squares right here will tell me that it's a PNG. There is no background for this logo yet. So I can put a word art over here and I can write for example I can choose the font I can also color it from here put a circle around it Now the circle came in front of the uh, rabbit. I can take it to the back by clicking on arrange, order, send to the back. I can also rotate using this circle, so I'm gonna move it to show you. You see this circle right here? I can click and hold and rotate as much as I want, like that. If I want to crop, I can click on this and crop. You see how I'm cropping it? Let's say this one, and I click on this again.
if I want to duplicate it, I will do Command D, it duplicates, or I can also put Edit and Duplicate. After then you click on file and you download it, you download it as a PDF if you want, but if you want to work on it on a PowerPoint or something, it's more preferable to download it as an image, you have two options, so you choose. That's it.